What's up guys, Guillermo Auto doing a 98 Blazer instrument cluster replacement. Uh, this one's bad. If you guys got a bad one having erratic problems, uh, check out another video I got. But this one, just replacing it, I got this one at um, Pig and Pull, 25 bucks. It was like a half off day. It was a good deal. The only problem is with these, the mileage is different. So your mileage will be kind of off if it's not the same. So <clears throat> we got to take out these 7 millimeter screws. Uh, pretty much a seven millimeter is the only thing you're gonna need to do this whole job. I might need a couple other things, but that's pretty much it. Uh, there's four on the steering panel. So we're gonna go ahead and get these off. There's the top one, the right side one, the lower left one. And the lower right one, my drill won't fit, so I'm using a ratchet right there. And uh, it might be a standard one too, a standard socket. I just I just only have a seven millimeter, uh, so I pulled this down just enough. Um, if you don't got enough room, I, I'm pulling it down just enough to get to the uh, upper bolts. Uh, you could take, you pull the e-brake down and take this uh, these ones out on the bottom too if you need more room. I'm gonna go ahead and take this one off just to show you. Basically, we just want room freed up to get to the uh, screws holding the dash on. So right here, this bolt, or screw, and this screw. You gotta take these two screws out, and then the rest of the dash pops out. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these out. And uh, feel free to move the steering wheel and the um, shifter, you know, throughout the job to get to these screws. So I got these out. I'm gonna gently remove this. Um, just kind of just wiggle it until it comes free. Uh, there are connectors connected to it, so be aware. Um, if you're too rough, like uh, you could crack it pretty easy. So, like I said, feel free to move the steering wheel up and down. All right. So yeah, you kind of just wiggle it free. And it goes all the way to the radio and under the AC controls. You want to wiggle the whole thing free. Uh, I move the shifter all the way down. And then I wiggle it free. Uh, just remember, be aware of the connectors. You're going to have to unplug these connectors behind here. There's two of them. And then the ones right here where these switches are. Uh, so these ones, here are the two, here's what they look like, uh, the bottom and top. I don't like these GM connectors, but here's how you do them. You, you push right here. On this one, it's not that bad. You push on the tab and pull out. Uh, these things are super tight. It's like they're going to the moon or something. And then uh, here's this one. It's kind of the same principle. You just push the tab down. I didn't have to mess with the blue part to get them off. The little blue tabs in the back, I don't know what those are for. I, I heard, but I forget what they're for, but I didn't have to mess with them to get them off. Okay, so I got this side loose. And like I said, look at this. I cracked it. It's, you got to be real careful with these, especially these older ones because they're brittle. Um, so for this one, I'm just I'm just going to look over the back end of it. You can look over the back end of it and just push the whole switch assembly out. There's like a tab you can lift up, and it'll push the whole switch assembly out. So then you can just disconnect the connector from the outside. That's the best way to go, I think. We're going to go ahead and uh, unplug this now. Same thing, you just push that black part in and then, you know, push the wire wires out. That's the tab right there. Go ahead and set this aside. All right, now I'm going to gently uh, lift this up. You know, move the steering wheel if I have to. Gently lift this up and get it out the way. All right, so I got my dash out, and uh, basically now I just gotta get these uh, four screws holding in the instrument cluster. Same seven mill seven millimeter I've been using. Let me go ahead and get these out. And then there's a connector up top. Now with the connector, you wanna be real, real careful with that, especially if you're gonna reuse it. Cause that's where a lot of these problems come with the like uh, clusters acting erratic. Here's my new one. Um, I just cut it at the junkyard. So basically, it looks like you just squeeze these two top tabs together 
and uh, I heard a click. Like I squeezed it until I heard a click, and then I just wiggled it back, wiggled it free. And the connector on the instrument cluster is connected right to the circuit board, so be careful not to wiggle it too hard or jerk it, so you can break some solder joints loose. All right, so I'm gonna get these bolts out now. Uh, careful not to drop them. Again, they're seven millimeters. Go ahead and get these. wiggle this and kind of try to snake this out of here um, feel free to move the shifter again if you need to I'm wiggle this out of here and then get it to a spot where I can get to the connector and unplug it again be careful with the connector so I'm gonna unplug it now all right so I got it unplugged and I'm looking at my other one so here's my new one I just plugged it in and just kind of set it in there. See, my mileage is different. It used to be 101 uh, something, but now it's 170. And that's because that programming is in the cluster. So the cluster doesn't know that you're in another car or that it's in another car. But everything else works normal. Just a drawback to it, I guess. But I'm just going to write a note on there. It says, like, hey, like, subtract 70,000. And that's the actual mileage. But, um, yeah, so I'm going to get this in here. I got my screws in. And, uh, yeah, be careful on the drop them. I'm being careful putting them in so I don't drop them. So, uh, this is my new one in. I'm just putting all the screws in to hold it in. All right. There we go. Get those in. And, uh, about that crack. Um, ah, I can't really do this. All right, so with this crack... With cracks like these, there's a couple options you could do. You could try to super glue them from the back. Uh, right now, I'm going to use a product called JB Weld. And um, there's two tubes you mix together, and it makes like an epoxy glue. And it works pretty good for a lot of things. So I'm going to go ahead and just mix it up and put a little on there on the back. There's also a super glue you could use, although I don't think in this situation it'll work that great. Uh, so yeah, I'm mixing this. And you could get this at like O'Reilly, Craig, or whatever. All right, so I glued the back of it. Now I'm going to go ahead and go in there and put this in. I'm waiting for the glue to dry, but I'm going to go ahead and just keep filming for you guys. Um, so, yeah, I'm, gonna put, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go ahead and bring it in. So I got it in. Now I'm gonna, you got to connect the connectors. Don't forget the connectors. There's two of them on the left, the big one and the smaller one on the bottom. And uh, let's see, there's one over here. Move the shifter if you need to. This one I'm just going to plug in and then push the, uh, also just going to put the dash in fully too. See, I got it all the way in. I just went around and snugged it in. <clears throat> now I'm going to plug this, uh, this one in, the switch. I got it plugged in. And then the bottom goes in first and just clip it in on the top like that. If your switches look different, don't worry about it. You know, you might have different features on yours. Uh, so now the steering panel goes in. Uh, we're going to try to match up this bolt holes and put these in. These are the long bolts that came out. I think these are the longest ones. Uh, they're still seven millimeters. I think the longest ones on the bottom here. So I'm sorry. These are these are dash dash screws, steering panel screws. But yeah, we just use them. Keep in mind these are the longer ones. All right, so we got those in. Now we could just, you know, line this up and just kind of wiggle it in place too. You know, just be careful messing with it. There we go. Little by little, wiggle it in. Make sure uh, the studs are lined up, the little plastic studs. All right, so I got that in. Now I'm going to uh, put the uh, seven millimeters in. And if you got a strong impact like this, try not to go crazy with it because it might break the screws or crack the plastic. So just, you know, run it in, and then once it clicks, and you're good. Again, on this bottom right, I got to do it manually. That's okay, though. It's not too bad. Go ahead and put this one back down here. All right, that's it. So uh, everything's working. Like I said, the only thing different is the mileage will be different. I'm just gonna like tape a note to there. You know, unfortunately, it's gotta how it's gotta be right now. Um, if you're having problems with yours, I do have another video on how you could uh, potentially solve them without replacing it. So thanks for watching.